All right, questions for Dano. Obviously, high stakes tonight, Dano, coming in, knowing what was what was up for grabs with the potential playoff berth, and uh, what was kind of your mentality coming in, and just sort of the, the team in general, what was kind of, I guess, sort of the, the temperature of the team coming into tonight? Uh, I think the message tonight was just fight, you know, get in a fight and beat them physically um, and do it for 60 minutes. Um, that's kind of what I talked to the team about uh, before the game and uh, at halftime as well. You know, we got to finish. we got three minutes left. Let's put them away. Um, just be more physical than, than them and knock them out, you know, put them away. So that's kind of, yeah, sorry, pretty efficient night for you. I mean, 14, 15 and seemed to, seemed to have a lot of open guys. And wh what was working well for you guys specifically throwing the ball tonight? Um, you know, we just... You know, ba based off what they were doing, their safeties and corners both were, you know, seven to ten yards off every play. So we were able to just roll out and do those quick outs, um, hit, hit, hit some easy hitches, and then uh, <clears throat> they're flowing pretty good on, on the on the on the pitch stuff. So when we when we got our play action opportunities, um, the receivers won down the field, and you know those throws are easy to make when they're that open. So exciting morning for you guys. Got to watch the selection show early, but. What's uh, I guess how are you feeling? What did, did you guys were you able to talk to the team after the game or um, what's what how are you feeling? I guess oh, yeah, every, every, everyone's stoked, man. Everyone's really excited. Um, you know, just the opportunity to go to playoffs and wake up this mo uh, tomorrow morning and be here in this room with the team, while watching what's going down as far as where we're going to land. Um, that's just that's something that you don't get every season. And having this opportunity alone, um, I think it's going to be great for this team. Um, I think this next week will be great for this team. Um, Everyone will be kind of out of town, and we'll be here um, together, kind of able to ignite that chemistry that we've had all season. But we're going to be around each other all week, and uh, I think that's really good for going into playoffs, just to hang around the team, be around each other, and uh, keep building that chemistry. Tell me about uh, how you guys are feeling right now. It seems like um, a number of you guys looked like a half step maybe healthier, a half step quicker today than maybe how it looked on TV last week. How, how are you guys feeling right now physically? Obviously, it's the end of the year and everybody's dinged up a little bit. Yeah, it seems like almost every other week is, is when we, you know, we'll have one week where we're all banged up and then the next week will be good and the following week will be banged up. But uh, the good thing about tonight is I think everyone was healthy coming out of tonight. Um, everyone's getting healthier. Uh, we don't have class next week, so we'll be able to, you know, spend a lot more time in the training room. So, uh, yeah, I felt better this week, definitely way better than last week. Um, so if we can keep, you know, doing our diligence in, in the training room, you know, that would be good for this team as a well. whole. Any more questions for Dano? All right, thank you, Dano. How you guys doing? Questions for Joe. You've been watching Steph Curry way too yeah. much. Oh, Steph! <laughs> You've been, been watching Steph Curry way too much. <laughs> it's, brownie, it's just for brownie points. <laughs> Joe sort of known what was what was the stake tonight. What was kind of your your mentality coming into into the game? Um, you know, just knowing that uh, every snap could be you know you know our last of the year, and, and uh, it really motivated me. I really wanted our seniors, our seniors to uh, you know have a great game, and I think they all played really well. For sure. After after your touchdown, you you went and handed the ball to to Jake and. What, a, what did that kind of mean, that moment for you and, and just for you guys as a team to, to have him here as a captain tonight? Was that was that special for you guys? Yeah, just in that moment, you know, I, you know, I thought to myself, like, man, like, I know he's like he's he's like my brother, you know, he would kill to be in this spot that I'm in. And I just wanted to go share a piece of that with him and go give him. I thought about it, like, you know, all week that if I did get a touchdown today, I'm going to go give him, I'm going to go give him the ball. When you have a game like this where it just – UNC just wouldn't go away, and every time they just pushed. What do you think enabled the guy? Enabled you guys to just always have that answer every time? Uh, every just time to, it was kind of uh, you know we just we just look all, on the offense on the sideline. You know we just um, look at each other and we're like you know it's, it's all good. Like we're, we're gonna have the same exact game plan that we had last drive. Same thing. You know we got a lot of faith in Coach Wood and everything. So you know we're just real confident. How are you feeling physically right now? I know that over the course of the year, um, you, uh, maybe more than other guys on your team, um, you know, get get a lot of. Uh, you know, oh yeah, we all we all we all get banged up. But uh, I just had a you know a couple, a couple sprain a sprain sprain foot sprain ankle, but you know nothing major. You know, but it might have made me a, like a step or two slower. But I uh, just try to fight through. Seems it. like you're. I mean, it seems like you and Daniel both looked a half step faster. Today yeah. Than, yeah, we definitely, uh, that's thanks to the trainer room, you know, we definitely got in there all week. What's your mentality for tomorrow morning? I mean, selection uh, show happening, uh, like, like what, what What are you guys' mentality going into that? I can't, man, I just can't wait to see my brothers tomorrow and, and go, you know, see the results, you know. I'm, I'm real confident about 
about uh, what it's going to be tomorrow. And even if even if we didn't make the playoffs, you know, I'm real happy with you know my teammates. There you go. Anything else for Joe? All right, guys. Questions for Coach Walsh? How to get a win to stay alive and found a way to do it? Is that, is that whatever, really all whatever it takes. You know, it's really kind of funny. We just we're struggling to put it both on both sides of the ball together at the same time. And, and, you know, I've kind of talked to the team about just think how good we'd be if we played defense like we played defense last week and offense like we played offense this week and put it all together. We'd be a pretty devastating football team, and maybe that will happen if we get the opportunity to continue to play. But, uh, you know, when you play these kinds of games and they had great speed at wide receiver, the quarterback's been a great player for them all year long. And I give, you know, give uh, – Coach Collins, I mean, they've done a tremendous job with that program. That program's come so far in the times that we've played them, and that's a great tribute to him and what he's done and the and the, the, the work that they've put in. And, you know, 6-5 and five and 6-5, and five, a lot of people say, well, that's 6-5. and five. But compared to what they were doing a couple of years ago, you know, they weren't competitive. And now they're extremely competitive with everybody they play, and obviously they were tonight. And if we're a playoff team, they ain't far away. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Pretty special individual performance by Dano on a night wow. when you guys really needed it, and you've called him a winner from day one, really, and you know, he showed that. I think I've used every adjective that I can possibly use to praise him. Yeah. It, you know, but the, I'll tell you what the real, the real, the best tribute I can give Dano is, we all know he's a great player. He always has been he's a great player at every level he's ever played at. He's a great young man. And that, to me, really drives who he is as a football player. I mean, he knows who he is. He has tremendous values. Uh, you know, and he really, really believes in himself, and he believes in the game, and the game will take care of, it's, of itself if you just go play it. And tonight's performance, I, I just heard he was 14 out of 15, throwing it for 190 yards. He rushed for 150 yards. He audible to a touchdown. I mean, you know, I mean, I, well, how much more can I say about the young man than, than what we've said? He is just a pleasure to watch play the game of football, and you know what? He plays it every day. It's just not on game night he plays like that. He practices like that. How confident are you going in tomorrow, just given who you've talked to within the region and, well, and where you're I've been there, done that before, and had some struggles in the past. I'm a, you know, anytime something goes to a committee, that's a lot of people in one room that have to agree on who. But, I mean, if you look at our we beat the Missouri Valley champion and we're not going to the playoffs, come on. That, that would be, to me, a total injustice if that ever happened. So, you know, if you beat that team, that everybody says that's the best conference in the country, and our fourth-place team in the Big Sky beat them, we should have four teams in the in the, in the, in the deal, and uh, you know I would hope that everybody sees it that way. And you know somebody said our strength of schedule is number one in the na in the nation for FCS football. Come on, our resume says we should be playing next week. So you know I'm fairly confident, but I've been there, done that before too. So I'll wait until I see it. As the clock was winding down, you shared a moment with I saw Dano and also Coach Wood. Uh, you want to share what you said to those guys? No, I just told Dano it's been a pleasure to be around you, and I can't. I, I'm just so happy that I have another week to hang out with Daniel Graves as a football player. You know, hopefully I'm going to be able to hang out with him more as he gets older through, through his life and things like that, and he'll come back. But playing another game with him as our quarterback is going to be so much fun to, for us to prepare and watch him play it another time. So uh, he's earned it. And, uh, you know, the thing that's really cool about the guy, uh, you know, is when you watch how he responds to things that are negative and his response all the time ends up being a real positive response, and it's by his performance. He didn't have to say a lot, but he's probably one of the most respected players on our team, no question about that. Having Jake Javier here tonight for to be a captain, what, what, why was that important for you guys as coaching staff? Well, there was three things I talked to the team about in our team meeting today, and the three things we talked about were three, I think, really emotional things. Number one, senior day. Our seniors deserve to go out with a legacy and have a legacy that they had with the 2016 football team, and they're deserving of it. A second thing I talked about was, you know, military appreciation day, you know, how lucky we are to do what we do. And I had a son serve, so it's even a little bit more emotional for me from that standpoint, too. And then thirdly, I think when you look, uh, you know, at the Jake Javier thing, and we're talking about winner or loser in a football game. You know, I, that kid is a winner. I mean, he is so excited to be a part of it. And the thing that I, the first time I met him, I walked in there with a, I crutches and a cast on my leg, and he looked at me and he goes, man, bad injury. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and this guy's attitude has been phenomenal since the first time we met him, all the way through all the things that he's had to go through. And he's a battler and he's a fighter, and we talked to our team about who he is. And he just had a blast before the game, he had a blast during the game, and he just had a great time in the locker room. And I think that uh, having him here was exactly maybe what we needed, because it really does. You know, we choose to play the game of football. He chose to play the game of football, but unfortunately an accident took that away from him. And we still have the opportunity, our players still have the opportunity to do something that he'll never have the opportunity to do again, 
but he has the opportunity forever to be a part of the 2016 football team, and he'll be a part of our program for the future, too.